I took a weekend course, a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. About a month later, I took the advanced course, which was a tool making course, which was also a three day course. And that's all the formal training I've had. There's an organization called Artist Blacksmithing Association of North America, and they would set up conferences for the purpose of teaching other blacksmiths. I have taken some courses outside of um, Two Smiths, out in Floridale, and a few private ones just with blacksmiths that I've met through the Ontario Artist Blacksmiths Association. Search out introductory courses to try, and blacksmiths are incredibly open about their process and how they make things and how they form their tools. And it's not as though there are secrets that people are harboring because you can understand how to do something intellectually, but you still have to learn the skill and it takes a long time. There's a lot of exciting stuff online, but once you've looked there, I'd say the sooner you book a course for yourself, the better. There are so many aspects to forged iron that are actually incredibly complicated, but of course, we don't see that because what you see is the physical nature of forming the material and working it. It's about the fact that you can take a raw material and manipulate it. I think that it's really empowering to be able to have an idea and maybe draw it and then actually make it a reality. I think that's incredibly powerful experience. One of the main ones that we're working on right now is one of the sculptures for the ION, so for the LRT. So we've taken a section of the track itself and manipulated it. So we forged it and we sliced it and we've uh, taken what looks like train track and shaped it into now what looks like bones. It's interesting working with the material that um, and knowing that it's going to outlive you. That's kind of a, you end up approaching it differently I think.